Do you got a man? It's your girl, just a lovely back with another freaking video. Uh, you know, you already know what it is. You already know how I'm coming. You already know what I'm about to do, as you can see from the title, period. But before we get started, before we get started, if you know, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my channel. Like, comment down below, do what you do, and it is what it is. I'm gonna start talking next Okay, so today, basically, I'm gonna be doing the QA, QA that people have been asking for. Whatever. I asked them on Facebook to give me questions. The color people gave me questions. Thank y'all for giving me questions because some people don't rock with me, but it's cool, you know. Or whatever. So, we're gonna get into that. But before we get into that, I wanna tell y'all, I came up with a name for it. My sub, my supporters, the ones who support me for real. So I'm gonna call y'all Jelly Mob, you know, because everything else is taken. Like everything that I wanted to say is taken, and I feel like Jelly Mob is different. You feel what I'm saying? Um, so what's up, Jelly Mob? Bitch, I get this little back from another video. Period. <laughs> I'm gonna get right into this Q and A. Period. So first question is, what made you start YouTube? What made me start YouTube is, I don't know. I just watch YouTube all the time. It's like, from watching them, it just seems fun to do YouTube. And plus, I like talking to my camera. When y'all cool people or whatever. Okay, so first question. Oh, oh, that was the first question. <laughs> Second question. Do you got a man? As of right now, no. I mean, I don't got a man. No, I don't have a man, and I'm not looking for nobody to be with. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be. I don't want to be in a relationship with anybody right now. But if you feel what I'm saying. Next question: When did you start dancing? I've been dancing since I was two years old. I mean. Listen to Temptations, that what made me start dancing. You guys, my mama, I've been dancing to them since I was two with my little pull-up diaper thingy thing with my little baby Tim's on, stomping in my Tim's, playing their music, listen to that music, I know all that songs, you know. That, that's what made me start dancing because I love that music and I, you, know, I, I, you know, I know how to dig, dig to music or whatever. <clears throat> so, that's what made me start dancing and then I got into like hip-hop dancing and now I'm a praise dance, little praise dance thing called I'll Be Honest With Y'all Check Us Out. On Facebook, it's called I'm Beyond A M B I A N C E. We are presidents. We, you know, we represent. We represent Power One Light of South and Gary. You know, well, we represent the whole Power One Light, but those are two churches that's come back. How old are you? You know, you're girl 21. No. <laughs> I'm 18. I'm 18 years old. A lot of people be like, "Girl, you got 18? Like you're 16?" I don't know. My 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 sister that's under me, she look older than me, but it's okay, you know. That that's how y'all know when I get older, <laughs> I'm still going to look young, period. Black don't crack, baby. So yeah, I'm eighteen years old. Um, chicken or beef noodles? Chicken. Of course. I mean beef good too, but you know, my go to is chicken, you know. Put a little um hot sauce up in it and um, you know. That's all I you know. I used to put a whole bunch of different stuff in it, like syrup, <laughs> syrup, cheese. I used to put a lot of stuff in my noodles. Now I just do noodles. I mean noodles. <laughs> now I just do hot sauce. <laughs> Funniest stuff ever. Okay. 
two people actually asked this question. No, they didn't ask it, but it was just, who is your favorite sibling? I don't have a favorite sibling, but I have a best friend. That's my sibling, you know. I go to her to everything, you know. That's my girl, Makaya. My sister, Makaya, or whatever. That's the one that's under me. Like, we talk about any and everything, y'all. That's my, that's my best friend right there, y'all, you know. That ain't mine. That ain't mine favorite sibling because I don't, I don't like I love them all equal but she up there who's your favorite rapper hold on hold on wait I said hold on hold on to tell y'all crazy people Man, y'all know what it is, man. Y'all already know what it is. Stop playing with me, boy. My favorite rapper is NBA Young Boy. He's up there. He's up there. Stop playing with it. Stop playing with it. Stop playing with it. Next question. Okay. Um, what's your favorite pair of shoes? I don't have a favorite pair of shoes. I don't have a lot of gym shoes. So I don't like gym shoes like that. I'm always going to slats. I always got on slides, like, I don't know, but my favorite shoe is, like, any Nike shoe. I don't like Jordan, I don't know why people be asking me, like, why don't you get Jordan? I don't like Jordan, <laughs> sorry. But, yeah, I mean, shoe, I don't got a favorite shoe, I just got a favorite Nike. That's what you want me to say, Nike. Okay, next question. Why do you love Malia so much? Girl, tell you my sweaty do I, my sweaty do I, do I, do I, you know. We've been rocking with each other since June, yeah. And it felt like we've been knowing each other for the longest, you know. I really vibe with you, shorty. I vibe with all my sweaties. But I love you because I love you, that's why. You my sweaty, that's why I love you. You there for me. Like, I'm there for y'all. Okay, summer or winter? Summer, summer or winter? Winter, because well, when I was, I was born in the spring and it's close to the winter, so I like the winter more. I mean, it's summer cool and all, but that that ain't even my type of style. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> what was your favorite grade? Oh man, my favorite grade as in school. Um. I'm gonna have to say seventh and eighth grade on my mama. I swear to God, seventh and eighth grade was T, boy. Yeah, seventh and eighth grade. It was almost T, and I was and I was at an all girls school. Shout out to my color. Shout out to my butterflies. Shout out to my catalyst pillars that turned into butterflies. You know, I know how we coming around and bumps. But yeah, seventh and eighth grade, cause we used to be T at the school. We did everything. When I hit ninth grade, went to the lighthouse. The lighthouse, I'm a little lighthouse. It's cool now. I don't know. I just wasn't in connect with a lot of people like that. I didn't have a lot of people to talk to. I wasn't cool with a lot of people. What's crazy is the first person I met and the first person that I talked to at Lighthouse is, well, that's not the first person I met, but the first person that really was like close to me, that wanted to be cool with me, is this girl named Unique. We don't really talk like that no more, but we got the same birthday and stuff. She thought I was lying about my birthday the first time, but we found out we got the same birthday and we was one hour apart. Crazy, right? That's my sweaty though. Even though we don't talk like that, that's my sweaty. And my mama, she call me right now. You know, I'm gonna get up with anybody but her, anybody in the day. But yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Step the upgrade. It was jiggy. It was jiggy. Singing it was also jiggy too. Well, I ain't really allowed to do nothing because I had all my credits and I really had to do like three classes. But you know, 
Tell me that, Greg. Yeah. Okay. I got two more questions. Do you miss your old relationship? <laughs> okay, I'm back. Um... I don't miss no relationship. No. I don't see, you don't know why I say that? It's because in every relationship, I learned something. I learned my life is not revolved around a nigga, bro. For real. It ain't really y'all what it seemed to be. It really not. As far as arguing with people over this, that, and that, and, that, and the third, I can't, nah. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, that ain't even me, bro. For real. I can't do it. I mean, but it's cool to be in a relationship, but you gotta make sure you're in a relationship with the right with the right person. I'm not saying people that was in a relationship wasn't the right person. It's just not what it's all. Uh, it's not all what it seems to be. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I feel personally, I could just vibe with a person. I can't be in a relationship with a person because I'm. I like to. I don't know. <sighs> Me, I don't want my significant other talking to nobody else. I don't care if it's a friend, best friend, fake sister, fake cousin, fake uh, brother, uncle. No. Baby boy, no. Like, I mean, I really had to learn that for myself. Like, I can't be doing that, bro. Like, we're not married, dog. Like, you can't, I can't tell you what to do. You can't tell me what to do. That's why now I'm just, I'm just cool, you know. A lot of people think I talk to a lot of people. I don't. I be cooling on YouTube, like I said, watch TV, cooling with my family until January when I start school. I just be cooling and stuff like that. I don't really be, hold on. Like, like I was saying, I don't really be doing nothing, y'all, for real. It's like, I don't know. I don't miss my, I don't miss none of my relationships. The people, but I can say one thing about me being in a relationship with somebody. If we break up, even if it's on really bad terms, we're going to always get back cool. And a lot of people be thinking she still talks to her ex because they, like, I don't. Like, we can't, I don't, I, don't, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, I just don't, I just can't be on, on bad terms with a, with, a, with a person that I was with for a long time. Because... Through that relationship, that person has been there for me. But no, I don't miss none of my old relationship. But the people that were in that shit was cool. They, they, we cool. I ain't got no problem with nobody. I ain't beefing with nobody. I ain't beefing with nobody over nobody. It's cooked. But this kind of going to the next question when it said your, your favorite relationship. I do have stronger feelings for one of my exes. Than I have for any other of my exes. And I'm pretty sure that person knows who he is. I'm not saying no names, but you know what it is. Yeah. But I actually got two favorite relationships. It's the last, the last relationship and the relationship before that. And I ain't gonna hold you up. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't keeping nothing from nobody. Y'all wanna know? Y'all wanna know? And I'm gonna tell y'all. So, my favorite relationship is the one before the last one and the last relationship. Because they're cool people, you feel what I'm saying? And they, I feel like they both been there for me. And they both kind of still are. You feel what I'm saying? Like, we don't talk on a daily basis. But when I'm down, or when they feel like I'm down, they text me to make sure I'm good, you know? I love them. I love both of them as a friend, you feel what I'm saying? I don't like a little relationship where I was like, would I get back together with either one of them? No. Me personally, I don't think I would. Because I argue with both of them all the time. I can't do it. So I don't think I'd get back with either one of them. But yeah, those are my two. I'm not saying no names. If y'all know who my legend that shit was, then you know who the person was before that. So, if you want to know, it's just about me. But I'm not saying no names. Like, pop on, because I want to put them out there. I don't know if they want me to put them out there like that. But, yeah. All right, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the friend. Tell the friend, like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Comment down below ideas that you want to see next. 
once again, y'all, it's Jelly Mob. So when I start saying, what's up, Jelly Mob? That's y'all. You feel what I'm saying? Of course you're going to know this because I'm saying it to y'all. But, but that only goes to the people who really rocks with me, who, like, who supports me with the YouTube stuff. So don't come in my inbox or text me saying, why you calling us Jelly Mob? Or why you, I'm not Jelly Mob. Okay, I don't care. I didn't ask you to be Jelly Mob. I said this is for the people who support me, my nigga. Because I'll buck with you real quick. You already know how I come and stop playing with me. Anyways, you know, I get buck with anybody. So don't come in my inbox on no, no BS, bro, for real. So yeah, this is the end of this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, like and subscribe my channel. If you're new. And once again, it's your girl. It's so lovely. And I'm out.